Alright guys, welcome back to part 7 of making a Minecraft Pact Client. In this video we're going to create an ArrayList GUI that pretty much just allows you to... it shows which hacks or mods are on. So, um, first off let's go into the main package I guess. It doesn't really matter, but um, let's make a new class called GUI in-game hook. Now up here, let's do extends GUI in game, and it's gonna ask you to import it and then implement or add a constructor. So this is good right here. Um, you should keep this, and then we're gonna go to Control Click GUI in game, and scroll down till you get to here, and you're gonna copy all the way to here, and go back into this class and paste it and you're missing a bracket so you need to put that in so second you can just delete these two variables they don't really matter and at the top you need to do super dot render game overlay just so that it actually loads the GUI because if you don't have this it won't have the items in your hotbar it won't even show the hotbar so you need that um, so next what we need to do is we can do go down here do int count equals zero for module m spike dot get modules then if m dot is toggled then we're gonna do mc dot font renderer dot draw string and then oops Let's go here, do m dot get name. Um, let's have two, and then two plus count times ten. In the color, let's just do green for the time being. We can randomize them later. Um, let's go down here and do count plus plus. And yeah, last thing we need to do is just go back to net.minecraft.client, minecraft.java, and let's search for GUI in game. And right here, let's change this, just add hook at the end. So save all, import, GUI in game hook. Oh, is that not what we named it? Oh, no, it did. Okay, cool. So if we go into here, let's run this. Alright, so let's go to here. And if we hit F, oh, there we go. Nice. So if we had no fall, it just stack right underneath it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much how to do an realist UI. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you later.